Hello everyone, my name is Insect Isaac, and here I have part two of my collection, the butterflies. So, I'll start off up here. This is a giant swallowtail. I found that in North, um, New Brunswick, in Canada. And these are actually super rare. I was really surprised and super happy to find it when I found it. And yeah, you can see it's, it looks more tropical than anything. And if you want to see its more tropical side, you can even, if I look under it, you can see um, how, how it resembles a tropical butterfly. The patterns and stuff and the size. It is absolutely huge. Almost, I'm uh, towering against these moths over here. Anyway, um, I've got around there a bit of a little blue butterfly, the silvery blue as well. This is a hickory hair streak I found in 2018. Very beautiful specimen. Um, I've got some coppers. These are regular American coppers and this is a bronze copper. We've got some little skippers as well. These are hard to catch because of their flight patterns. They're quite unpredictable but if you have good enough reflexes they will um, be easier to catch. I think I'll Little tiny silver spine little guys. So down here I've got a fertility. Uh, this is a smaller one, this is a silver spotted fertility. I've got some Antlantis fertilities over here, which are a bit larger, and these are very fast. You need lots of stamina and lots of speed to catch them. And to the left I have a regular sulfur butterfly, cabbage sulfur, or <laughs> sorry. This would be a clouded sulfur. I mixed up sulfur and cabbage white. Anyway, I got eyed brown over here, a little elfin butterfly. Uh, this is actually a ringlet, pardon me. So I've got three ringlets. I've got one over here, one over here. These are two maritime ringlets, and this is a common ringlet up here. I've also got a little uh, northern blue butterfly. And over here, I've got the mighty monarch that I raised from a pupa. Uh, chrysalis, I should say. Pupae are for moths, chrysalises are for butterflies. And um, I was actually considering putting it back in nature because of their uh, rarity. Um, lately, monarchs have become very rare. And so this will probably be the only specimen I take um, for my collection. It's very beautiful. It was a male. You can see it was a male by little spots here. Little spots on the underwings. Females lack that characteristic. They can also tell by the body. Um, yeah. Then we've got some commas. It's called a comma because if you look under it, you can see a little silver spot on the underwing right here. And here, I'll try to make it focus. Yeah, here we go. And it looks a bit like a comma. There's also the question mark, which, as its name suggests, has a little question mark on that underwing. Uh, so this is an eastern comma, and this is a green comma. It's called a green comma because um, it's got these little almost green spots on the wings. It's hard to see with the camera, but with the naked eye, uh, they're much more apparent. They have the king of fertilities. This is the gulf fertility or passion vine butterfly. And you can see over here I have beautiful, very beautiful, bright, very bright orange wings and very beautiful shiny silver spots on the underwings and the tip of the forewings. Now I managed to collect two of them and in North America these are super rare. Um, actually they're we had a storm coming in from the south, and I believe that's what brought them here because um, the most northern um, uh, passion vine fruits, which the caterpillars feed on, are in Ohio. So they can't really live where I live. Um, so yeah, these are the Gulf fertilities. Over here I have a, a mustard white very very common um, uncommon actually in my parts but 
really more common. This is a summer form. They're completely white, as you can see. White as snow. Um, spring form will actually have little veins on the edge of the on the underwings. Where the veins are will actually be colored in light brown. And yeah, I've also got this another sulfur here, cloud sulfur. Here I've got a. Oh boy, what is this? Let's find out. I forget the name. It's a wood nymph, of course. I used to go crazy for wood nymphs when I was younger. You can see the beautiful eye spots over here. A little blue in the center, and around it is has more a bit of yellow slash amber color. Anyway, here we've got um, a morning cloak. Nice blue spots and white on the edge. Well, the underside actually looks like wood bark. You can see here. So you can imagine when it lies on a tree, it just blends in completely, almost invisible. Uh, camouflage is really effective when you're an insect like that. Um, usually it will have camouflage on the outside and on the inside it will be super bright and shiny. Um, like this, this kind of, this um, polyphemus moth looks a bit like a leaf, a dead leaf, and it opens up its eyes and scares predators. Anyway, we've got here a red admiral, a red admirable, depending on where you live. And this one, um, I have a white admiral somewhere in a collection box, but they're called admirals, but they're more related to painted ladies, which I used to have, but haven't seen any um, in the past year. So I'm looking forward for painted ladies. Anyway, up here we have the monarch mimic. It's the the viceroy moth, a uh, butterfly. And you can see a big difference. Got a big line over here. A line, uh, a black line that you can see that the monarch does not have, and there's also a size difference, of course. You look at the monarch way over there, you can see the size. And then this one is much smaller. Um, anyway, last but not least, we have over here a beautiful Baltimore checker spot, and over here, Canadian tiger swallowtails. Well, this one is a Canadian tiger swallowtail, and this one is an eastern tiger swallowtail. There isn't much of a difference, it's more of the region where they live. And yeah, and I also have a Cape Breton swallowtail, which I completely forgot to mention. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're also known as short-tailed swallowtail in the United States and Quebec. You can see they're very beautiful. Anyway, these are my butterflies of my collection, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.